Okay, so I've had the bike for must be 10 months now and I've changed a few things. I have some Renthal fat bar light, aluminium bars. Original bars were way too high and a little bit too wide. And I had these laying around so I put them on. Uh, Ergon GA3 grips much more comfortable for longer rides. They didn't have black, unfortunately. Um, Brand X Ascend dropper post, 125 mil. The original one was 100 mil, which is just not enough. Because the frame was a size small, they supplied with 100 mil. The medium came with 125, the large came with a 150. Plenty of room for a 125 on there, so I don't know why they didn't just make them 125 on small. Broke the rear derailleur pretty quickly, so I replaced that. Um, twisted the chain, I had to replace that. Um, that was all a while ago, it's been going pretty well since then. Um, that seat is a very comfortable seat for long rides. Pretty ugly, a bit bulky, not ideal for when you're doing the fast ascents and you need to get it between your legs, even when it dropped, but anyway, it's it's good for long, uh, long enduro type rides. Um, the only other thing I've changed is the brakes. I didn't like the original brakes. The stopping power was okay, but they required a lot more force. So whenever I jumped back onto my Santa Cruz, it had XT brakes. Whenever I applied the brakes, it nearly go over the bars because I was used to clamping down much harder. Um, so yeah, I took off the saran brakes, they're just hanging on the wall here. I should probably look at replacing them, sorry, selling them. So anyway, now that I ride with XT brakes on both bikes, the braking force required is similar and I don't have issues swapping between bikes anymore. Uh, still on the same tyres. Wear's not too bad. I'll see if I can get an odometer reading. Eight hundred and sixty-two kilometers. Sorry for that light, that's terrible anyway. Uh, I have two batteries now. I bought a second one, second hand. Uh, so it's good to have a that on hand for weekends away. So I'm pretty happy with it overall. It does climb okay. Uh, bottom bracket's a little bit low, so it just means you get a, if you've got a long technical climb to lock the shock out, the rear shock, and that helps a lot. Um, downhill runs are pretty good on it. The extra stability from the weight is really good. I actually did a, a downhill run a few weeks ago with the motor turned off and got a few PRs over my Bronson downhill runs uh, on Strava. I generally put all my rides up as e-bike rides on Strava, but that weekend, because I had the bike off for the whole ride, I put it as a normal bike ride. Um, anyway, that was fun climbing up the mountain with no motor assistance. The battery, for some reason, went into some kind of protection mode and wouldn't turn on, so Rather than not ride, I just rode with it turned off. So, yeah, that was quite an effort, but not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, so yeah, other than that, everything's really good. I would recommend this bike to other people. Um, not as nice as the newer models with the integrated battery, but I specifically didn't want an integrated battery so that I could get spares, generic spares from anywhere rather than having to buy, you know, like the Giant batteries are specific to Giant and you have to buy their brand whereas I can just buy any Shimano battery um, I think the internal ones are similar now as well but oh, well, too late, I've got this one would be nice to be able to fit a water bottle in there however but I just got a new backpack Osprey backpack which um, 
It's really good for carrying lots of tools and water. Uh, that's about it really. So yeah, I shall potentially make another video later on. Maybe some writing involved, who knows. I don't have a good camera for that though, so it won't be very good. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you later.